Birds on sticks. How do you keep them preserved? You need to make an incision and remove the whole internal body cavity, which is all just one big enclosed unit. It's got this great connective tissue. It's like taking a sock off of your foot because you invert the whole skin up until the skull crack the skull in half, remove the brain with a very sophisticated tool called a brain scoop, revert the skin, stuff it with cotton, put some wire in it, stick the stick in it, and um, that's about it. The ones dating before 1960s were preserved with arsenic as well. 78. Yeah, so we're good. <laughs> still might want to wash your hands before you go to lunch. You know what this is? That is a vertebra. Yes. Of... A very large thing. Is it a, is it a cetacean? Yeah! I don't know the exact one. It's some kind of porpoise. Um, but it's the entire cervical vertebrate column. And so it's like, this oh, is, a, you know, I so showed you all... that human one. It was yeah. pretty. But they're all compacted together. Mm -hmm. These are all different separate bones. But they don't need to have a lot of mobility side to side of their head. So mm -hmm. you can take a skin and you have it all the way until it's just attached by the nose. So it's really weird to see this, like, weird skeletal thing and I'm, I mean I'm skinned in a mink today so maybe you can see that. Like why do mustelids and uh, members of the skunk family get nematodes? This is a sign of a nematode infection. Mm. So a nematode is a parasite that comes in through the sinuses and it makes these lesions on the brain and I imagine it does not feel very good. That's a really interesting smell coming out of this. Mm. It's not just the skunk smell, it's probably like preservation tissue and the fact yeah. that it, you're in a museum with 21,000 dead things. It's a little musty. It's not a terrible smell. It's like your grandma's it's attic. It's just really interesting. Yeah, it's, a, it's like my grandma's attic times two. Is it about know. two grandma's attics in here? <laughs> <laughs>